uh, switch batteries again. Got everything hooked up. Grab tension. You need some more out of the ground. I'm just grounding to my radiator here. Okay. using alligator clips for everything. It's a lot easier. through a hole there at the bottom. It's the other wire for this end. And this wire is best to have grounded or else you won't get a good effect up at the top. Now I'm gonna ground it. Okay. I just use the loop. So I can just spin it around it like so. As you can see, this spark trap has been very used. And it's very bright, so I put that on top of it. it bugs me. And it's really loud. Well, this, these ones are. So we second one comes my earplugs. Okay. Plug in. And it's really loud. Well, this, these ones are. So, we second one comes my earplugs. Okay. Okay, I'm turning on the lights off. And I'd like to mention that the the stuff in the light bulb earlier was purple, not blue. As you saw, that was my, that was this coil. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you something else. Just give me a second.
I like using the light bulb more because it doesn't create as much ozone. So yeah. Okay. This one you may have noticed that I just switched the co coils. So this one doesn't have this thing on it to screw the light bulb into. Some you may have noticed that I just switched the co coils. So this one doesn't have this thing on it to screw the light bulb into. And no, I'm showing you this one now. That's my big coil. And I forgot to mention where to put You need to make some sort of top load. It's just two candle things stuck together with a spike on top of it. It's a breakout point. But when I had this running in that time, I noticed that it breaks out every. It breaks out on this ridge and this bottom ridge. and But luckily, it mostly breaks out on this. And I just find this more fun to use this as a top load. The best kind is to use, um, it's called a toroid, toroidal top.